Alright guys, welcome to today's commentary. Today we're going to be focusing on the run defense from our defensive scheme of the week here. The 4-3 under formation. And uh, we're going to use the strong close to illustrate the basics of our run defense here. Um, again, I apologize if my voice sounds a little weird. I have this massive cut in my tongue. <laughs> it's killing me to talk, but uh, I still want to get this content out to you guys. The run defense we like to use is the... Um, excuse me, the Mike Sam crash, and uh, a couple reasons we like to use this. One of which is because it's a very good uh, exotic defense to run, and it's also very good against a run. All right, so that's some pretty good reasons to run this defense. And what we like to do is, is we like to set this up as if we were running our Mac Michael Cross. So we're going to shift our linebackers to the right, and uh, when we do this, we're going to put Bradham here over the center in the A gap. Now, the really the only thing you're going to have to worry about is the run to the left. You see you're going to have numbers to the right. So we have um, we have four guys to the right, two guys to the left. We have the safeties over the top. Now, remember, though, you are, you're using Bradham. Now, there's obviously some vulnerabilities with this. One thing you could also do is leave Bradham over wide and use your Alonzo. It doesn't really matter who you decide to use or control. Um, but I think it's better if you use the middle linebacker but however, you, it does take away from the pressure because he's now going to be in a hook zone. So what we could do with this is we're going to basically flip our Michael Cross zone defense. So we're going to take Bradham, we're going to put him into a deep blue. We're going to take Alonzo, put him in a hook. And basically we're going to use it the right side of the field. So, um, uh, let's see here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be good here. And um, this is our run defense. Against the zone weak to the left side of the screen here, uh, we're just going to, again, just set the edge. Now, that is one example of what goes wrong with this run defense right there. When you pass commit, it Fs up everything. Now, since this pressure is solely going to be based on block shed, we don't have to worry about pass committing for our pressure to get in. So, we don't like to pass commit at all. I accidentally did it on the first play, and it actually shows a good point. But here now on the left, we're just going to fill that lane, and that was horrible. I don't know what's going on there, but... Um, Obviously, and then another thing you like, uh, another thing we really like to do with this is um, put these corners in hook zones and call the disguise cushion. They're going to play the run better for whatever reason. Um, and so here you'll see we have a lot of yellows, but this is still going to basically be the same thing. And um, now you see they're going to play the run a lot better. I mean, that's a night and day from the very first run. And then a run to the right. Uh, we're going to do the same exact thing. Put those guys outside in corner, uh, outside corners in yellow zones. Spread the line to create our look from 4 3 odd. And now run to the right. We're just going to set the edge with a little linebacker. Obviously, you don't want to overrun it, though. That's one thing I do sometimes. Um, I'll run all the way outside and leave the middle wide open. you got to know your assignment. So, like, in this formation, you don't have to, and again, you don't need, you don't want to use your, the middle linebacker over the A-gap when you're running the, this run defense because you're balanced all across the board. So, you're able to defend whatever they try to throw at you. So, here, I run to the right. We're just going to wrap around and force a cutback to the safety, and safety, it's up to the safety to make that tackle. Okay? And then, last but not least, I wanted to show you the halfback dive. Um, if that happens, which uh, it probably will. Um, you're just going to come right through the A-gap with Alonzo here and blow up the run at the fullback in the backfield. Really all you can do. And that's just the basics of the run D. Uh, we really like this more for an off-tackle run defense um, than, you know, your standard, uh, you know, halfback dive run defense. But it still can be a effective against a halfback dive if you blow up the fullback, as you see there. Alright, so that's the run D. Um, it's not as glamorous. It, it really isn't that great of a run defense, I'll be honest. Um, but it's, it's one of those run defenses that will... It's kind of like it's um, it's a good one. Because what happens is it's either going to lock it up or it's going to contain it to about a 3-4 yard run every time. Here, I mean, you don't even... And, and then one of the things about it as well is you don't have to do anything to it. So I'm going to put defensive control down and I'm going to use the offense. I'm going to play it. So I'm going to run the right side now. You see, it's going to hold it to about 5-6. That's really all you can ask for. A stock run D, really. I mean, you don't even have to make adjustments. Halfback dive here. Going to hold it to 5 yards. And then when you combine that with the user control of the middle linebacker, and that was just an example of the formation effing itself over. Sometimes the stupid linebackers do stupid things. But here again, now we look at it, and you see it's, it's like night and day. So... 
this run defense is not the best, but it is very effective. Um, a, be a more effective run defense from the 4-3 uh, uh, under. If you really needed one in a pinch situation. I really like the 4-3 under um, and the play that I like to use. And this is, remember, this is like lockdown run D if you need it. I like to use the CB Blitz. The reason I like to use this is because it's very effective for stopping a run left or right. And you don't have to do anything to it. So here we're going to run the left side. Very effective. i got to go upfield. It's going to force the run upfield. And what you can do with this is then you can run commit, zone your linebackers like so. And then I like to spread the line. And now this is going to be a, a completely new ball game against the run. As you see, it's going to be in the backfield almost every time. So that's your run D if you're in a pinch. So guys, thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully it helps you against the run in Man 25. See you next week for another great run defense, and see you tomorrow for some pressure. See you tomorrow.